Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Commencement Ceremonies for the MIT Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences. My name is Michael Fee, and I'm excited to welcome you and join in this celebration of all of our graduates. This is my first commencement as department head of BCS, a role I accepted just a few dizzying weeks ago, succeeding Jim DiCarlo, who led this department so well for nine years before his appointment as director of the MIT Quest for Intelligence. Being here to represent the department on this day is one of the greatest pleasures of my new role. Let me begin by saying congratulations to the students in Course 9 and Course 69 and the master's and doctoral students who have earned their degrees this year. And let me extend that congratulations for getting through 2020 to each and every student in the department, whether or not you're graduating. MIT is an intense and often daunting place, and the past year has certainly added extra challenges. Rather than dwell on the tough parts, though, I want to recognize and celebrate everything you and we have accomplished in the past year. Students and faculty adjusted to new teaching styles and course formats, and the learning continued at its usual vigorous pace. We've gotten used to online classes and to navigating the changing rules for being on campus, where and when and how many of us can be in a given room at any given time. I think we also became a little more human, more caring towards each other. We took more time to check in with each other, to make sure people who were struggling got the support or help they needed. BCS and Building 46 have put new resources into building a community that is diverse, equitable, and inclusive, a place where every person is valued and able to succeed. We appreciate what it means to be together and what we lose when we're separated from each other. A year ago, we faced tremendous uncertainty. Today, even though the pandemic continues to ravage, ravage parts of our world to our dismay and distress, the rapid development of COVID, COVID vaccines has given us hope. Here in Cambridge, at least, we've been able to talk about getting back to normal, or at least something much closer to normal, and that is really astonishing. There's a feeling that we've made it through the worst. And I hope that's true. And for those of you who aren't able to feel as optimistic about this, I hope better days arrive very soon. I'm also proud of our entire community, faculty, staff, researchers, students, and your families. Thank you for your perseverance, your energy, your resolve, your support. And thank you for taking on this last year with your minds and your hands. We begin our ceremony by recognizing departmental award winners in a range of areas from academics and research to teaching and mentorship. And for that, I'll turn things over to our undergraduate officer, Professor Laura Schultz. Thank you, Michael. This has indeed been an unusual and stressful semester. And I also want to thank our students for their flexibility and resourcefulness as we all went through the transition to teaching and learning remotely. At this time, it's my pleasure to recognize our senior undergraduate award winners who are listed here. Academic awards are given to students with a cumulative GPA of 4.9 or higher. Research awards recipients have been nominated by the PI of the lab where they worked. And finally, we learned earlier this month that five seniors work from course nine were elected to the MIT chapter of Phi Beta Kappa. Congratulations to all our award winners. Moving on to all our graduating seniors, I would like to welcome my colleague, academic administrator, Teresa Tomek. Thanks, Laura, and congratulations to all of our award winners. As we go through the list of graduates, on some slides, you'll see comments they sent us about their time in BCS and MIT, about what they plan to do next, or comments from their advisors. Our first graduate is Mona Abdulrahman, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Sarah Abadalo, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Michael Anok, 
Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Chloe Ayers, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Alexandra Berg, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Katie Collins, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Albert Garovich, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Skylar Gordon, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. River Grace, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Anne Harrington, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Joaquin Kennedy, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Maya Ladi, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Christy Lino, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Cindy Liu, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. David Mackay, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Jason Mediano, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Jocasta Manessa Lewis, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Ivan Mosqueda, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Aisha Eng, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Sungwon Park, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Michael Pena, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Gisela Redondo, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Jenny Rosenberger, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Quiley Simeon, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Aditya Singh, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Catherine Sautelaire, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Catherine Zhao, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Jocelyn Yao, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Alice Zhang, Bachelor of Science, Computation and Cognition. Irene Zhu, Bachelor of Science, Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Please give a round of applause from wherever you might be for the undergraduate class of 2021. Congratulations to all of you. It's been a pleasure to be part of your journeys Next, we will move to those receiving graduate degrees. And for this, I would like to introduce Sierra Ballin. Thank you, Teresa, and welcome everyone. This year, we have our first students graduating from the Masters of Engineering in Computation and Cognition program, in addition to our students earning the Masters of Science and Brain and Cognitive Sciences. The three students that will be congratulating today for their master's degree are 
Malat Antenna, Master of Engineering in Computation and Cognition. Her thesis is titled Evaluating Shadow Spect as a Potential Measure of Spatial Reasoning. Her advisor is Eric Klofer. Yuan Bian, Master of Science in Brain and Cognitive Sciences. His thesis is titled Noisy Channel Processing of Questions. His advisor is Edward Gibson. Heng Li Si Nyet. Master of Engineering in Computation and Cognition. Her thesis is titled, Investigating the Role of Biological Constraints in Adversarial Robustness in Modeling and Representational Geometry. Advisor, Jim DiCarlo. Next, I'm happy to congratulate the students who are today receiving their PhDs. I wish we could be together to celebrate this huge milestone in your lives. There are very few moments in your life that our society deems significant enough to change the way you are addressed, but here you are. Today, we are changing your name. You will be called doctor in virtue of your commitment to the life of ideas and the expertise you have demonstrated. From now on, that name will always be yours. And to the families, thank you for your patience. A PhD is a long journey and it's rarely made alone. Thank you for your support, encouragement, tolerance for times when you provided help, times when you were provided necessary, when you, where you provided necessary distraction and perspective. Today in granting these PhDs, we recognize you as well. Now I will introduce the nine scientists receiving PhDs from BCS today. Dr. Kelsey Allen. Doctor of Philosophy, advisor Josh Tenenbaum. In her remarkable thesis, Learning to Act with Objects, Relations, and Physics, Dr. Allen has developed a powerful new paradigm for understanding how people solve complex physical problems, as in learning to use a new tool. She created the virtual tools game to test how humans use tools to solve physical problems and computer models of how humans solve these problems. Her work also points the way towards building more human-like physical reasoning in AI systems. Dr. Scarlett Barker, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor, Li Wei Sai. In her exciting thesis, How Transcriptional Regulators Induced by Enriching Environments Protects Against Alzheimer's Dementia, Dr. Do Dr. Barker discovered a new molecular mechanism that increases cognitive resilience in both a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease and in human patients. Dr. Lou Bolia LaRocha, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Mark Harnett. Lou's thesis, Dendritic Biophysics and Evolution, is a technical and conceptual tour de force. He discovered general principles for the biophysics that underpin how cortical neurons work across scales in mammalian evolution, from tiny shrews all the way to humans. Dr. Jai Rong Chang, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Matt Wilson. Dr. Chang showed her own incredible resilience in producing her thesis optimizing sensory motor behaviors through information integration and mental stimulation, which using both multi-unit recording and computational models to test how animals integrate many sources of information, including implicit temporal rhythms to optimize complex sensory motor behaviors. Dr. Kevin Ellis, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Josh Tenenbaum, Dr. Ellis's thesis, Algorithms for Learning to Induce Pro Programs, represents a major contribution towards the goal of building machine learning systems that can discover more human-like, interpretable, generalizable knowledge from experience. His dream coder system learns to solve problems by writing programs and building its own programming languages. Dr. Gladia Hotan. Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Patrick Perdon and Emery Brown. Dr. Hotan's intriguing thesis is titled Probing Unconsciousness, 
state space modeling and source localization of EEG biomarkers of unconsciousness under general anesthesia, sedation, and sleep. And it compares the patterns of neural activity for people in different kinds of unconscious states. Dr. Rosary Lim, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Susumo Tanagawa. Ideally, when you see someone for the second time, you remember not just that they are familiar, but specifically remember who they are and what you know about them. In her exciting thesis, Hippocampal Microcircuits for Social Memory Specification, Dr. Lim discovered how the brains of mice encode distinct memories of specific individuals. Dr. Joshua Rule, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Josh Tenenbaum. Dr. Rule's dissertation, The Child as a Hacker, Building More Human-Like Models of Learning, presents an inspiring and illuminating new theory of human cognitive development. He argues that to explain the astonishing feats of learning accomplished by every human child, we need to reconceive of learning as a kind of programming. In particular, the creative self-directed forms of exploration through code that we at MIT call hacking. Dr. Malin Chan, Doctor of Philosophy, Advisor Roger Levy. A fundamental question about language is whether the speaker's word choices are mostly designed to make it easier for the speaker to produce language or for the listener to comprehend it. Dr. Chan's ingenuous thesis in investigating theories of speaker choice and classifier language uses linguistic properties of Chinese that don't exist in English to convincingly demonstrate that speakers choose words that make speaking easier. So my sincerest congratulations to all of our graduates and their families. For some closing comments, I send it back to Michael Fee. Thank you everybody for joining us. This concludes our commencement ceremonies. To our graduates, congratulations once again. Your time at MIT sets the stage for even better things to come, and we're all excited to see what happens next. Mm -hmm.